All right, to get things started, go ahead and double click on AutoCAD 2017 English. You double click on it, and uh, when it comes up, you might start off with a blank, brand new blank screen. If not, you're going to start a new drawing. Click on New up there. Click ACAD, uh, the ACAD template, and click Open. So we're going to go ahead and leave things the way they are. If your if your command line was laying flat like this down here, and you only saw one line on it, go ahead and and dock that down there in the bottom. We're going to lock that in place. That way we can see more lines on our command line. We're going to go ahead and create this drawing right here. This is uh, part number 124-4-49A in our textbook, um, which is online um, in our system. It's on Blackboard. Um, it's page 124 and it's figure 4-49a. We'll save everything that way. All right, so this is a metric part. We're just going to assume that the units are there. It's 200 long, 125 wide. There's a 100 millimeter section in here. These are 50. If you do the math out, that's 50. Going up this way is the same 25 here, 75 between the two there, and then 125 here. So this is going to be a really easy part to follow along with. So we're going to go ahead and go to AutoCAD, click on line, start down here somewhere, going to go turn my ortho on by hitting F8, go this direction 50, um, we're going to go up 25, uh, scrolling backwards uh, with the mouse wheel to get the zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold down the mouse wheel and pan. Oh, it's not going to let me. So then I'll go across this way, 100, come down 25, go that way uh, 50. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to get out of the command, double click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents and then I can zoom a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and click line, go to that OSNAP setting, click on the end point, go up 125, go to the left 50. I'm pointing in the direction that I want to go, go down 25, go to the left 100 again, go up 25, go to the left 50, come down 125. All right, so that's the part we're going to make. That's part number 125. So go ahead and click save. Uh, we're going to save this one probably in your name folder on your desktop or in your My Documents is fine. Let's see if I go to my desktop, I'll find my Davidson folder. And 129 4-49A. Apparently I've drawn it already, so I'm going to just save over top of it. <clears throat> there. All right, I'm going to double click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents. I'll click save again, and then I'll go to print or plot. Click that right there. So I'm going to change the name of the plotter to DWG to PDF, change this to extents, change this to center to plot, click preview. That's centered on my page the way I want it to be. Right click with the mouse, click plot, and then we'll go ahead and save that in the same spot. So go there, save it in your name folder. Um, it adds model to the end of it with the PDF. You don't have to have that, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, and I'll just overwrite mine. So that's what comes up with the end. That's what you're going to submit into uh, Blackboard when you have test day or into your, whatever your system is. Um, when you have the test day, you're submitting the PDF. You do need to keep the DWG file, but you're submitting the PDF, so you have two files. You can't manipulate a PDF file. You can manipulate your DWG if you need to change things later. All right? Best of luck.